Hello, my fellow Nigerians. <clears throat> All these are politic politicians. <laughs> Instead of them to tick and find solution to hunger and hardship that is in the country, but they are after 2027, thinking how they are going to be re-elected in 2027. Ah, I pray. So these are politicians. They will have a sense of uh, belonging. See and hear what uh, one of uh, Tinubu's uh, ministers are saying. Umahi. Minister of Works, David Umahi, has once again linked his name in the bad books of uh, Nigerians on and uh, off social uh, media. As we speak, Umahi is uh, currently facing the wrath of uh, Nigerians. Unlike others, Ministers Umahi start up this uh, social uh, media uh, backlash all by himself. David Umahi, Tinubu's minister, had stormed Sokoto for the launch of a phase 1B of the long-awaited Sokoto Badagri Expressway. As expected, Umahi spoke to the people of uh, Sokoto. That was when Umahi sent uh, the entire country into commotion after suggesting that uh, the launch of a uh, phase 1B of the Sokoto Badagri Expressway could hinge on political outcomes in the 2027 elections. While addressing the people, Umahi hinted at uh, their support being crucial for the con continuation of uh, the project, indirectly linking road construction progress to campaign promises. Hmm. Umahi acknowledged that uh, while road construction projects have uh, been uh, de delayed for decades, President Bola Tinubu finally initiated action on the expressway, a project first proposed 48 years ago. Trust Nigerians, especially with the hunger biting deep into their stomach, with no hope in sight. Perhaps the only hope they have is uh, 2027, and to many, they are not uh, willing to gamble it. Immediately, they slammed the minister with uh, claims that uh, Umahi was uh, using basic amenities to campaign. Sika Chi wrote, it is absurd for him to use the promises of basic amenities like a building rules as campaign propaganda for 27. Another one says, keep building rules when other countries are building an alternative means of uh, transport, like uh, speed trains, trams, etc. We build roads that will not, will not outlast a raining season. Hmm. Another one says, after watching uh, these uh, videos, don't they feel ashamed? Nigerian politicians are thinking for next election why the good leaders think of for next generation 2027 not us be wise nigerians as a whole be wise vote for competent leaders and uh, capacity to lead not a political party and rawan says the poor always been used as a weapon in battles they didn't start and uh, don't control Hmm. Country can progress only only progress when we start eating these people and their kids. How can you use be using a road road that you haven't done to be campaigning for? It is finished. They don't even have anything good to hold on to to campaign for. It is a big shame on this uh, nation and the generation unborn. Hmm. They have no shame at all. Hmm. It's a pity for Nigerians that they are, they are having this type of uh, leaders. Hmm.
the way he built unsearchable airport in the Airborne, unserviceable uh, airport in the Boeing state. Umahi is not in Nigeria. Yeah. Where did he come from? I am in pain for my country. Truth is buried. If you are good, it is for your house. Oh, Che, Nigeria, my country. When will you awake from your deep slumber? Today, Nigerians buy a liter of oil for a thousand plus, going to two thousand. I am in, in sorrow for the poor and needy who cannot afford anything. Again, not bread, not beans, not rice, not yam, and other food items. And our leaders are yet flourishing as if all is well. Hmm. No pity, no remorse for what people are going through. People are dying of hunger now, diseases. How can how did we offend our leaders? Please. Is their selfishness? Nobody offended them. Greedy. Corruption is eating deep in this country. Ply Benin or Shagamu Road and see the sorry state of Nigeria. We must account for our stewardship. Administration of high profile criminals are Nigerian politicians. In fact, Mm. and their co-founders. All these politicians are shameless. God will judge them all. We have been hearing of uh, this route more than 20 years. This route was not initiated this, by this administration. It does appear that I am alone. Why are people hopeful of the elections in 2027? Expecting to vote out bad governors. Did you vote in gov do you vote in government? Will your vote count? Re it me thinks that uh, we should uh, revert to prayers for God to help our country. Yes. You pray prayer without work does not work. So you have to pray and work. Ogao Mahi, what's happening to all the federal roads you thought, including Benin Auchi, Okene Lokoja Road, you thought? What's a sheer display of a corruption and integrity deficiency in Tinubu's administration? Mm. Our leaders are less or have no concern about the masses. We have one uh, supernatural power over them. If we pray with one voice, thunder, which God will judge them, lose control, either resign or do the needful. Nobody should worry over this uh, technical people that doesn't know what they are saying. He will never know peace and he will constantly see shame and disgrace with his school politicians. Hmm. How can you trust a man who, when he was governor of a born state, decided to build flyovers in the capital, Abakaliki, and uh, an airport that is not in use, instead of uh, building simple uh, bridges over small rivers scattered all over the state? To date, whole communities are cut off by rivers. People just cross rivers on wooden and uh, rope bridges. Hmm. Mr. Works Minister, we in the south that uses a river's Imo boundary along Potakot Wiri Road wouldn't mind if you fix that road and ask us to vote for you and your masters instead of a constant lose of uh, lives and uh, properties on daily basis along that boundary stretch. Hmm. Do that road fast and good so that we will have our vote in 2027. You and your master. Back to Gaban. With this state of things and uh, the level of uh, hunger in the country, you are giving Tinubu kudos for a deceitful road project 
he can never complete evening if you give him 20 years to rule. My brother, stop being bigot. What about the already built infrastructures? Tinubu inherited in Lagos, and even the Aso Rock is staying now. Hmm. Well, Umahi, are you seeing the kind of a disgrace you are bringing to yourself in the name of following a, these uh, greedy politicians? Like Tinubu, you have already killed your political career in Igbo land. You started it by telling Nigerians that a boy in state is not part of Biafra. But I can now see that uh, you will cry like others who betrayed their people in Igbo land. People like uh, Rochas and uh, Oji Ozokalu and others. Hmm. He is an educated uh, illiterate and what a shame that these men know nothing at all. Tunubu and his uh, cohorts has no leadership agenda but to deceive and embezzle. Umahi himself is a technical know-nothing for not looking for a solution for the colossal uh, damage the, he has done to Nigerians. Instead, he is uh, campaigning for the clueless leader that doesn't know know how to govern the country. He is campaigning for the unknown. Hmm. What tomorrow will become? He didn't know what tomorrow will become. Hmm. Good or bad, himself and the Goliath of federal capital can't be removed because the duo sold out their state and their conscience to get where they are because of uh, greediness because of money, what they want to eat, because of their stomach. But agree to Sokoto Road is a good project, which successive governments refused and they failed to construct to easy transportation problems in Nigeria. However, nothing you can do to please sadists. The same people opposed Coastal Road, but are now praising Bolatin Ubu for constructing road in uh, their region links to another region. They are selfish people. They only appreciate their selfishness. My people. David Duma is a great born criminal minded person and that is why Tinubu appointed him a minister of wars for him to front money through contracts. That is wasted a bony that he that's he wasted a Bonny State allocations with Abia Abakiari. Devil Umahi is a national rogue. This man is a disappointment. Who told him that Nigerian people need political errors? He has nothing to show that there is a reasonable thing happening in Nigeria today under APC government. Nothing to show off. Hmm. Right. Which rot Nigerians get? Common protests on enough sabi do. So which rot on they talk about? Learn how to lead a country just from Cameroon by your side. You can't stand there. They are lost and they stand on their mandate. No rot. Nigerians learn from Kenya. Learn from Kenya. Hmm. I pity my country, Nigeria. Ha, ah, my people, this is what is going on. Another one says, waiting be APC problem. The available rules are not good. You are embarking on the rules to Calabar and now Badagri to Sokoto. This is just a way of uh, stealing more money. We don't need this uh, rules now. Because later, now it will be a bad on projects. They are just deceiving themselves and they are and uh, the Nigerians as a whole, in who, and uh, their supporters, mm. their brothers and sisters. God, please do the needful, the airspace, so that these wicked politicians cannot uh, overcome 
all the good plans that others have. If all of us use the rules, the left unkept, they may be forced to fix them. Minister Umahi is Kalaba. He said Kalaba Utu Road, not in Nigeria. Well, maybe the hunger Nigerians are going through we give APC votes in 2027. My people, my people, this is what is going on. In the comment section, we are free to say your opinion. Subscribe to this channel. Share, love, like. God bless Nigeria. Thanks and God bless. Amen.